setting up in a farmer's market, space is at a premium if it's a market that's busy. So I made my trailer so this folds in. This makes the maximum width of my trailer about nine and a half feet, which fits within the 10 foot space allowed for each vendor. Okay, these two hatches, this hatch gives me access to inside if I have an order of knives and I wanna put them in the trailer so I don't forget them. It lets me get the drill motor out in order to raise it and my water jugs. I've got two water jugs in here. It's my generator. It's a Honda 2200. It's a great size. I had a 2000 and the extra 200 watts is really worth it. Uh, it's mounted up so that I can pop the vent hose off and fuel it up. It's got an hour meter on it in order to uh, keep track of my oil changes and that's how that works. Now, the way I keep it cool, let me show you. This is a fan that blows air in. Um, this silicone hose here takes the superheated exhaust and it gets it down the exhaust vent passageway. Not all the way, because it would take the noise all the way. It just gets it down so that this hot exhaust doesn't swirl around in this cabinet. Now here's the idea of the cabinet and how you vent this. The air comes in from the bottom and the key is that you want four 90 degree bends, however you do it, for the air that's blowing into the cabinet. You cover that with this, it's a special rubber. It's a, a, it's a closed cell rubber that has a high mass vinyl layer on it. And that stops the sound from going through the walls of your ducting. The four bends stops the sound from bouncing around the corners and coming out. Exiting is the exact same thing. It comes out down at the bottom. There's four bends in it. And so when this runs, basically what you hear is the vibration of it running and it is mounted to an aluminum trailer. So there is vibration. Once the market gets started, the sounds of the market make it, you can't hear it. It works really good. And then uh, uh, because of the smell of the exhaust, because of all the ducting, it cools the exhaust off so the exhaust doesn't go up. Uh, I've got a, a eight inch flexible hose that mounts with magnets to the bottom of the exhaust. And I run it out of the way, depending on what market I've got determines how I route that. Okay, so let me lift it up. Okay, so once I have it lifted up, Depending on what market I'm at, I've got the option to put all these shades out. So let me put them all out. Some markets I don't use any shades. Some markets I'm tight, so I, I don't put them out. Some markets I use the shade as a straight wall. I have some other curtains. Uh, one market I've got a food vendor right next to me. This is where all my tools are. So I've got a plastic curtain that snaps on a few spots and up in here to keep any of my debris from going his way. Okay.
Okay, so that's my setup. Um, I've got a do door in here. I'm able to start the generator. Let me do that. You can hear how that sounds. A little stubborn to start. Okay, so you can hear the motor running, I'm presuming. It's a little hum, but most of it is the walls and floor vibrating. Um, once there's conversation at a market, people walking around, a couple dogs barking, a kid crying, you can't hear the motor running. People think I'm running on batteries all the time they ask me. So this is uh, inside my trailer. This area here is where I take in orders unless I'm at my busier market. If I'm at my busier market, I have a separate table set up out front and I bring my wife and she does that part of the work that frees up my day to sharpen. Um, I made this stick. This is a great time saver. I call it my bucko meter and it lets me lay straight edge knives along this line and serrated knives along this line and it gives me the price for those knives without having to measure them and do the calculation. This is my box of smalls. Everything from, um, this is an electronic microscope. Sometimes I want to get a good idea of what's going on. If I'm slow and I'm trying something out. Miscellaneous tools, glues, wound seal, super glue, um, the Loctite, the super glues used mainly for cuts, um, wrenches, screwdrivers. Got an angle gauge. This is uh, one you can buy on the, just on the market, but then I had to add this ruler to it to get a secondary uh, straight edge on it. And uh, sometimes you need to figure out what an angle of knife is. Somebody will tell you it's something and it's not. And, you need to let them know what it was and let them tell you how they want to proceed. Uh, Goof Off is one of my favorite cleaners for gunk on knives. Um, this here, this is a stupid knife trick I do for little kids at markets. It's pretty fun. So this tool, it's a bench grinder turned upside down, welded up a frame, covered it with plywood. This has a scotch bright wheel. It removes rust off of uh, axes and uh, uh, whatever somebody brings you that you want to take the rust off of. It takes tarnish off of kitchen knives, but it does leave a fine, fine, fine scratch pattern. Um, sometimes you don't want to go that way. This is a polishing wheel. Sometimes you can polish tarnish off the knife quickly. Sometimes you need to go here and then over here. It's on a variable speed. Sometimes I'm trying to fix a, a melted handle where, that has a rough edge. I can clean that rough edge off and polish it out, but you've got to slow it down because it builds too much heat. This little box just covers... I normally have a beard, and this is my dust mask when I'm doing something that requires it. Um, this is a 1x30 belt sander, and it usually has a fine belt on it. Um, this belt generally stays on this tool and it's for uh, processes I do so I don't have to switch them out on my other belt sander. Uh, this one's a half horse, variable speed, it has a brake. Um, it has a slow start because being on the generator doesn't like the hard hit. It kind of causes the Jenny to choke if you've got other tools running. I can pretty much run all the tools I have here simultaneously. Uh, and not choke my um, my generator, although it's revved up pretty high. This is water. I've got several belts here. I've, tr I've got more belts than it's needed by far. I was trying out some different belts, and uh, a lot of them I, I'm, I don't care for, but I can't bring myself to throw them away. Uh, I'll use them. I got a stool. Sometimes, you know, it's just slow at the markets. Underneath is a shop vac for cleaning up. This here is my inside door for my generator. Gives me access to start it. This tool has these diamond uh, wheels for doing serration. There's two different sizes. If you work on the sides of them, it's a little different radius. Sometimes that helps out. Uh, variable speed. 
if these run at full speed, you got to be real careful of not getting hot. Uh, there's a there's a wax you put on them. You put on very 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 little wax, or they just won't cut at all. Uh, but it keep makes them run cooler. This is where I do my sharpening. All these three tools are hooked up to one on switch. Uh, this area here is where I store my orders. Um, just a, a knife or two can fit in these little guys. These trays, I wish I could get some more of these trays. They telescope in and out. They're the best, but they don't make them anymore. I can't find them. Um, a little step stool for popping in and out of my trailer. Uh, some extra parts, bits and pieces, trash can, basic supplies. This drawer holds my office stuff. This drawer also transfers out to the front table that I mentioned earlier when my wife's in it. I've got some signs that I put out on my trailer and that's it. I've got lights. The way I hook up my power I've got a retractable cord and I plug it in here and um, that's how I get power to my lights and I have a dash cam here that turns on automatically it has a 180 degree view um, there's been a couple times something was missing from a market and I've checked that camera thinking somebody uh, stole it I always go there first I guess and then I find out it fell off the bench and landed in a weird place and um, it was my fault. It's always my fault when something like that happens. But that's the inside of my trailer. And yet you're gonna walk away without trying a day kit like butterscotch. How much are there? Any eggs? No. Before we haven't had any kind of relationship with bringing money into it. I'm gonna try a day before. Okay, so at the markets, I've got a couple knife tricks. This one always goes over big with the adults as well as the little kids. Sometimes the adults freak out more. I tell them I got this knife. It's really a sharp knife. It's kind of primitive, but boy, it takes an edge. But when I sharpen it, I want to test it. And the best way to test it is like this. And it doesn't even leave a mark. But um, thanks for watching.